Hey, welcome back to 2DG. Two. We got another beer review. I'm back. What do we have? Today, we have Alpha Claws. For Christmas! Merry Christmas! Hope y'all having a great Christmas. Yeah. Get all the beer you want. A lot of it. Be responsible. Yes. Anyway, what Alpha Claws is, they're saying it is the cousin of Alpha King, uh, which we haven't done a review for that yet. No. Um, but it's a porter, uh, and they kind of Christmas it up by throwing in some different spices. They use an English chocolate malt in this, and then they also use Mexican sugar. Um, I, I, there's other things on there, too, but uh, are in there, but not on the bottle, so I can not tell you exactly what. Alright, uh, and I'm not traditionally a porter fan. I, mean, I don't know, something about it, but yeah. if I'm going to trust anybody to change my mind, it's going to be three floods. I'm not usually a... Christmas spice type of fan either mm -hmm. and again like you said if I can trust anyone to do it right it's three Floyds so don't let us down yeah so let's just get after it hey what do you got there I have a comb stainless steel beard comb but it's also a bottle opener old familiar comb company go check them out and we only have 13 subs, so they're not paying us. So it's a quality product. And a legit endorsement. <laughs> so. Well, let's see. I haven't seen it open yet. <laughs> like a champ. Like it was supposed to. So who was that again? Old Familiar Comb Company. It's stout, too. It's a stout. Stuff. Oh. Can't even bend it. Maybe it can. I don't know. It's, it's a nice looking product. But anyway, let's get on with it. So, yep. so let's uh, see how let's it, get it in. pours. <laughs> well, so far I'd say it's looking pretty doggone good. Wow, wow. it's got quite a bit of head form in there. So it did pour it down the center somewhat, but I didn't think it was that much. They want to stop easy on that one. <laughs> I'm a professional. Ooh, getting a whiff of that. Okay. All right, so solid. I got big fingers. Two finger head there. Every time. Every time. Um. Uh, yeah. Pitch black, which is, this is darker than a normal porter. Normally porters are like kind of a mix between a dark brown to a black. This is this is a stout color. Um, but like you said, nice fluffy pillow head. Yeah. yeah. Nice tight bubbles. Man. But, uh, it's just not disappearing either. No, it's sticking around, which is nice. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's getting a nose on this. Definitely. Stuff. It's interesting. It, it almost has like a lager type of initial smell before you get down into it. I disagree. <laughs> but you're getting you're getting the chocolate. Um, you're getting the faint Christmas spices. I can't really point it out. I want to say it's like ginger almost. I'm not but even getting much on the Christmas spice. I'm getting the uh, porter. Definitely smells like a traditional say porter. Or roasted malts. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it and it is weird because. Porter does have that distinct kind of smell to it, and I, I, I don't really know what it is, um, but yeah, it's there. It smells like a porter, but uh, let's get a taste on it. Yeah, for sure. Well, they definitely didn't lay off the hops, even though it was a porter. That's what um, I was going to say. You do get uh, uh, that thinner body, which is kind of surprising considering they did use like um, like the Mexican sugar. I expected it to be a little thicker, but anyway, right up front you get punched in the mouth with bitterness yeah. um, and mixed with the roasted malts, <laughs> and then uh, you do get a little bit of the chocolate up front. And you don't actually get a lot of the chocolate flavor no. throughout. It's just really the little bit up front. Uh, you do get lots of pine in this one, and I'm guessing they use West Coast hops uh, along with um, the other Christmas spices that they put in. And you also get a lot of earthy notes from it as well. 
Um, it does drop off quickly. It doesn't really uh, do much towards the back. I'm getting a little alcohol heat too, Just which a I little. didn't check the ABV on this, but anyway. Um, it's a traditional porter. Mm -hmm. I mean, first glance you taste it and you're going, it's a porter, you know. And, and to be honest, porters tend to be a thinner body mm -hmm. beer and not always really blasting with flavor. This one kicks in a whole new level with the uh, hops. I mean, yeah. this thing is hop just like they would any of their beers, their IPAs. I mean, this thing is, it's hop heavy, but it's mm -hmm. not out of balance at all. It really blends well. Uh, it's great. So great I like job. The, the, they kept it traditional as far as the grain bill We're using the English malt, and I'm sure they used all English malt in this. Um, they just wanted to really accentuate the uh, chocolate aspect, but yeah. Um, real traditional is pretty much everything except for the amount of hops. Porters generally aren't hopped that much, um, or at least you don't notice it as much. But yeah, the the sugar that they use, which I'm surprised, I don't really get a lot of residual sweetness at uh, all. No, the sweetness is real subtle, and I get it around the edges of my tongue a lot, but not in, a lot in that it's sweet, mm -hmm. but you, you, you sense a sweetness, mm -hmm. but there's so... Everything that you detect in here has a perfect balance. Yeah. Everything just plays together perfectly. And uh, this one actually is a 22 ounce. <laughs> That's three Floyds for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we pulled up on Rate Beer. Um, they are going uh, with Imperial Porter is the style. But we haven't had too many that are I don't know Imperial. if I've had any. Yeah, so we're just going to stick Porter. Um, the ABV on this is only seven and a half, so I'm not real sure why they're classifying as imperial, but whatever. Anyway, for the style, Ray Beer gives it a 98, uh, and then for the overall, they bump it up to 100, which is what you expect coming out of Monster, Indiana. It, it's it's a fact. And I, I, before you even read those, I was debating in my head where I'm going to place this, and I feel guilty that I, I sometimes feel we do too many 10-10-10-10 mm -hmm. style beers, but... Oh, whatever. Let's get you to it. Porter style. To be honest, I want to give this a 10 because... I, and I, part of the, the wavering I had on it was because it is not traditional. Mm -hmm. it, it's, not it's not traditional to have this much hop. It's not normal. It's not normal. <laughs> um, but I like that. And But it is a classic uh, porter. It's just been enhanced. It's a porter plus. <laughs> so, I'll give it a 10. Uh, yeah, style, 10. Like I said, I'm not a huge Porter fan. Um, what really saved it, or bumped it up for me, like you said, was the, the hops. And, and I'm guessing they use Chinook in this. I'm, if you've ever tried to find any information on Three Floyd's uh, recipes, good luck. It's definitely a higher alpha yeah. uh, hop, but it's also a bit on the grassy, piney side. Yeah, too. as I say, you get tons of pine, and then you do get a little bit of the hay grassiness. Yeah. I'm guessing they use probably some traditional English nobles as well, but anyway, let's move into the overall. Overall, I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Overall, I'm gonna go with a nine and a half, just because I'm not a huge porter fan. But I think if I were going for seeking a porter, I'm not, like I said, I don't get a lot of so-called holiday spices yeah. in this. So I really enjoy the, what, what it is. So if I were seeking a porter, I'd probably go for this over some of the others. Yeah. Um, I'm going to drop it down to a nine. Uh, other than the hops, I mean, you don't really get any of, like, the, like you said, any of the Christmassy spices. So it's not going to be like, you know, your stupid Starbucks drinks or anything <laughs> like that where they use, you know, artificial crap. But... So that aspect, it's good that you don't get a ton of it because it's like, hey, they probably didn't use anything artificial. Um, but at the same time, like you said, the hops are just insane in this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not a huge Porter fan. So they did save it for me on the style, but yeah, still not my favorite. Yeah. But overall, solid. Yeah, solid. it is. It's an excellent execution. Again, you know, I'm not sure about the Christmas theme on it, yeah. but... I'm not really picking that but out. But yeah, if you want to check the logo here. I don't know how well you can see it because of the glare. But anyway, it's their old school uh, 
hop guy, which if you haven't noticed or if you can't get it, um, they did change the label on their regular Alpha King, which is their flagship beer, uh, to make it change the label on a lot of their beers. Yeah, um, to make it I don't know like cooler, or more up to date, or whatever. But they did keep this one the same. So you know you got the green goblin dude sprinkling the hops, and he's got a little Christmas hat on. But yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, don't forget. Go ahead, hit the like. Smash it. Smash the like right button. over there. Go ahead and uh, subscribe. Should be also right over there. Uh, and then go ahead and leave, leave a comment. comment. Yeah, we'll, we like to talk to you. Yeah, we enjoy that. Um, even if you are criticizing us. Let us know what you think about the uh, yeah. Alpha Claws. Alpha Claws. <laughs> <laughs> Let's almost at Alpha King. Yeah. Let us know what you think about Alpha Claws if you've had it. If you haven't had it, you know, let us know what you think about your favorite Christmas time beer. Uh, maybe we can review that sometime. But hey. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and uh, you are helping us grow. 2DG. Oh. See ya.